welcome back again to the channel so guys um i'm going to be making vegetable soup and this is our goat meat but we are going to be using um we have our fresh pepper we have our stock fish this is my ugu because i'm making okra soup also and this is bitter leaf that we are going to be using this is um cocoa yam okay that we're going to be using to make our village man you know african village man <coughs> bitter leaf for my african for my american what am i going to say for my african husband okay so but there's this tie i use in you know taking out some bitter from my um from my bitter leaf so i'm gonna be by boiling my bitter leaf okay just to remove the bitterness a little this bitter leaf is so so bitter so <clears throat> i'm pa boiling it um to start the cooking guys so i'm just doing this okay this is actually what i learned from my mom so yes so i'm adding a little water to parboil this bitter leaf so that the the um the bitterness can actually reduce yeah so so that the bitterness can actually reduce so i'm going to go ahead to share my meat guys i'm making two soups okay and this is one lap of goat meat here so i just want to share the meat before going to wash them so i want to start washing them i just i want to start washing okay and demarcating them so i just just sharing the meat okay i'm just i'm just demarcating the meat from the other the soup the two soups i'm making is okra and um okra and bitter leaf soup guys so this is it the bitter leaf soup is for me and hobby why the okra is for um is for the children because my children they don't eat bitter leaf they eat only okra guys hey guys welcome back to the channel and this is a danny's family thank you so much thank you so much for tuning in so guys we are outside again so i'm gonna be making soups okay i'm gonna be making my village okay african village man bitter leaf soup for my nigerian husband okay so as you can see i'm making two soup i've shared the meat and after that my prep prepping already that is bitter leaf on the fire and i remember that i've not even done introduction i've not welcomed you guys okay to this vlog hi welcome back to the channel and this is adani's family thank you so much for tuning in <clears throat> thank you so much for being here with me thank you so much please subscribe if you haven't okay if you haven't subscribed turn on your post notification and your map below because please <laughs> please Allah, please turn on your post notification so that you'll be the first to get notified and to open new videos online guys don't don't worry my face okay it's pregnancy that is doing me like this <laughs> So guys, we already have all our ingredients prepped and you know waiting for us. And we are outside. We are using coal stove to make this okay <coughs> charcoal stove. And as you can hear, you can hear my ta 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 my charcoal I've already catched. It has catched. And guys, guys, I can't wait for you guys to see my magic touch um I don't know these guys that this um, exchange by butter they are passing that's what you're hearing getting 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 so i can't wait for you to touch see my magic touch soup my children are not at home and i feel this is the best time to do it um cleansing i've gone to school two summer i've gone to they're actually going to school it's just me alone in the house doing my business <laughs> so yes guys let's continue let's go
our crayfish inside here and this is our mangy container and this is our salt container okay so i just went to get them now why i quickly transfer all my pounded and poundable lamps i don't know <coughs> i like using pepper to you know season my this thing because i don't want to eat the meat so dry like that without with the taste of the meat i don't know Pepe just give it the game changer and other things. <coughs> so we are still seasoning my my soup to start our whole stuff. So guys, welcome back again. So um actually um I started prepping my 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 fish, my stock fish and my goat meat. Okay, I just added my salt. Okay to taste guys oh my god the preparation of this soup is actually giving me joy already because hmm, guys okay i just added my no cube already i actually um guys uh, welcome back again so um i don't know i just so much love um what are they calling it this no cube and it's just my number one maggie <laughs> <laughs> that I like using for my soup and my stew. Okay, so I'm just trying to sauce the meat to make it have a good taste. I have a good stock to start preparing the um the ofo onubo betali soup, guys. So yeah, this is what I got. And guys, this is time for me to start washing my cocoa yam. So I want to wash the cocoa yam out first before putting it inside the um the pot to start cooking this kokoyam is not plenty and i'm really scared it will affect the soup that i'm cooking 
Yes, because I like okay, I'm being plenty cold now, no, like so that my soup but I leave is very good to be thick, not watery like that. So yeah, after washing it, but my husband likes it to be watery. Oh, that is what he wants. So um you guys knew I, I told you guys I was cooking my bitter leaf because I want some I want the bitterness to reduce, okay? So yeah, the bitter leaf is okay. So guys, um, it's it's boring. Is okay. Too. It's um, very, very bad. It has bored. Okay. So yeah. Like, after allowing so, it to boil so like this, bitter. I'm going to use shift filter to oh, remove okay, it out, yes. okay, because okay, I'll be using this away, water away. I use in cooking this bitter leaf to cook my cocoa it. yam, okay, okay. God. I'll be using it to the cook, cook my you know. cocoa yam, because oh guys, cocoa yam have to be done, 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 and that's one advantage of using charcoal stove. With my 500 naira charcoal stove, I can do wonders. So, so yeah, I'm just pouring it just out, guys. It. This is it, bitter leaf. I've gotten what I want. I feel the person, the woman, so you short shot bitter leaf because bitter leaf me personally, I'm a banana bread girl. Okay. So we love long, long, long bitter leaf. So but yo, cold, my husband loves bitter leaf, right, though, but anyway, we like, have a good job. But yeah, like, I love yeah, long. I like plugging it by myself. So I'm gonna be cooking and using it by myself so guys yeah. this is yeah, it English. this is what we got and yeah, yes this I don't is what we got and guys we are fighting you know? i am going to go ahead English to start cooking mouth. is it because i'm making a um, local dish what are they calling it cooking the yeah english the bitter english leaf. Gonna i'm just... sorry the cocoa yam okay so, let me so just but before then i'm going to set I'm this one aside to cool while i pour in the cocoa so yam in this thing, and the water is, um, back. There's cocoa into yam inside. So I'm going pot. to use that water I use in making. Okay, why well, I pour I'm in that water my... into that pot what so that to my cocoa yam. Yeah, so, so that I can see. start cooking it. Okay, guys, I'm so scared of this cocoa yam because at the first thing, no good to me. I didn't mean I knew I would have collected the suchest one Ooh. also. Back to the fire. Oh my god, this fire is so hot. So, yes, let's start cooking. So our cocoa yam, cocoa yam, wait for it to get done. And voila, the cocoa yam so, is soft already. Guys, allow I normally allow it to get so soft, soft, so that it can be so easy for me to pound. Yeah, so that it can be so easy for me to pound. So after testing it, so checking it, I have to put my done. hand there to see. To I have to like touch it to see if it's seat. actually soft yeah, so yeah our... we're going ahead to peel and same time to pound guys So guys, um, um, after pounding it, I noticed that it's actually time for us to start the prepping. So I added some water in the meat stock, okay? I added some water in the meat stock because the meat is already done. This is in P. This goat is in P. When you are in London, you will be hearing the smell of the goat. So I went ahead to add oil. The oil I added is not too much, but this oil is 
on a chake too much. Like it's too reddish. Like the oil oh yeah, is too nice. After adding my coconut, this is how it's I added my coconut, I added my crayfish on top, and I covered it. And yes, guys, my leave is done. I couldn't show you guys the remaining process because my children came back from school and I had to drop them immediately. And I told you guys I was scared of that cuckoo yam, and yes, it did happen to me. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoy what you see. See you on our next one. Bye.